Welcome back. Now in this session, we're going to learn the limit mate. Now in our previous session, when we did the pliers, if you remember, we had to place an angle, a limited angle in between the pliers. So we know we limit how much it opens up and closes. Now this is a very similar limit, but in this exercise, I will show you the distance limit instead of the angle. Let's go ahead and see what we have over here. So now I got the holder. This is the same from the last exercise, but I have the holder over here for the linear rail. And if I move the linear rail back and forth, you're going to notice that it goes right through this wall right here. If you notice, it goes right through this wall. Well, I want to limit that. I want it to be able to stop right at the wall over here and then only able to travel up to 10 inches over here. So I want to limit how much it travels back and forth. I don't want it to be able to get out of my rail over here as it does. And I don't want it to be able to go through my wall over here. So let's go ahead and learn the linear uh, or limit feature. Here we go. Click on mate. Scroll down here under your advanced mates, scroll up, and you're going to see a distance or an angle. Now, these are both for limits. If you click on the distance, you're able to set the distance this linear rail can travel. And for the angle, it's the same exact way that we've done the pliers before in our previous exercise. So let's go ahead and click on the distance for now. And if you scroll up, you're going to see the mate selection. You're going to need to select two surfaces. Those are going to be the surfaces where this one ends and the wall begins. So as you can see, SOLIDWORKS already gives it a one inch limit distance in between them. And then at the bottom over here, you're going to see that there's a distance, which is a maximum distance and a minim minimum distance it can travel. Let's go ahead and set this to zero. Okay. So then I need my maximum distance to be 10 inches and my minimum distance to be zero. So that means I want this to travel from zero to 10 inches only. Let's go ahead and click on OK and see what happens. I'm going to take my linear rail and move it back. As you can see, I can't move it over anymore. And as you can see, it does not leave my rail. I set it up enough so it only travels a certain amount of distance. And if I try to move it back over here, you're going to see that it stops right at the wall. Okay? I can't move it past this wall. So that's how you use the limit for the distance. Now, if I go back over here to limit distance, you're able to also flip the dimension. That means this wall will be according to the other side. And as you can see, click on OK to accept it. As you can see, now it travels 10 inches in the other direction. Now, obviously, we do not want that. So we can go back and click on flip dimension. OK, you can also flip the alignment and it flips your entire part. But we don't want to do that. Go ahead and click on OK and reverse it back to normal. Now, sometimes you'll get errors like that whenever you flip because it flips one way and it tries to flip another way, but it flips your entire part upside down. So the best way to do this is just to go back and you will go back to where you were. So click on OK to accept it and click on OK over here. And as you can see at the bottom, it calls it limit distance mate. And if it's an angle, it would be called a limit angle mate. 